Mike Yanni is talking boat safety this morning on Lake Chestermere. Yo, you know what? It's a little bit chilly out there this morning, but I've got to say, the boat that we're on, this thing is pimped out. This is heated seats. There's heaters down below. Uh, I want to thank Martin Motorsports for supplying the boat for us this morning so we can get out on the lake here at Chestermere Lake. Uh, we are talking about boat safety. You'll notice I do have my inflatable PFD on. I keep wanting to call this a PDF. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, yeah. You're the tech guy, right? You got uh, it, though. PFD. <laughs> I got Personal it. Flotation I got it. These, yeah. obviously, these are key uh, when you're out on the water. You have to have a life jacket or a, a, PDF, a PFD. Uh, um, so you almost said it again. Um, <laughs> what do we need to know when you are purchasing these? There's, there's obviously a lot of things you have to keep in mind. So just keep in mind that you have to have an approved, fitted, properly fitted PFD for each person on board. So okay. when you're going to purchase them, make sure that you check the label for approval. So you can see in this PFD here from Mustang Survival, it's approved for use in Canada. So check that approval label, make sure it's properly fitted for your size and weight. There are some stores that bring them in from the US. Those technically would they, not be approved here. They may work, yeah. uh, but this, the standards are different in the US than in Canada. So you want to make sure that you have uh, a can Canadian approved uh, life jacket or PFD on board with okay, you. So, so keep that'll that satisfy mind. the law because if you're caught with that one, it's, it's a pretty steep fine for each, each life jacket you're missing. But more importantly, having the life jacket and actually wearing it is really going to uh, help you out because more than 84% of people that drive, uh, sorry, drown from boats every year, they'd be alive today if they'd simply been wearing their life jackets. Now, is more expensive better than a cheaper life jacket? What's the difference? Uh, you just want to look for quality. So typically, you know, a good, a good jacket, a good PFD or life jacket, it's a bit more expensive, but it's worth it because it's going to last longer. It's not going to de de deteriorate as quickly in the sun. It's going to be more comfortable. So okay. if you're buying a foam vest like this, one's, one that's slightly, you know, maybe a bit more expensive, It'd be more comfortable because the foam is better in it. It's a little bit more flexible. Uh, so when you have it on, it's more comfortable to wear. Or you've got these inflatable PFDs. They're from Mustang Survival, which is a great Canadian company. These things are awesome because they're comfortable. They're easy to wear. Yeah. Uh, when you go in the water, it's going to inflate, or you can inflate it manually. Well, you know, a lot of people make the argument, I don't want to wear my life jacket out on the boat because I want to either get a suntan yeah. or it's too bulky. But these, these are really comfortable. They are really comfortable. And, and it's true. I mean, there's a lot of people that have been boating for many, many years without a problem. And the unexpected can happen. So even though you might have been boating for 20 years, never fallen off the boat, never had a problem, you're still always better. Happen. So but have it on. To inflate mm -hmm. these, all you do is just give this a good yank. Yeah, yeah. That's right. gonna, yeah, yeah. It's gonna blow up there pretty go. good. There you go. I'm Safe. all ready to go just in case I <laughs> fall a drink. <laughs> all right, Mike, go for a swim. You're not Jump right in. Jump right into Lake Chestermere. Cannonball. It's 7.56. <laughs> I wonder how warm it is. Lake Chestermere is not that deep, so it might have warmed up already. Yeah, yeah. probably not that warm. We'll